In the late news tonight, a big win for the Islanders men's basketball team. Their first ever in the NCAA tournament. Reaction from Dayton, Ohio and fans here at home coming up. Plus, the demand is high for rent assistance in Texas. We saw that on day one of this application portal reopening back up today. The state planning to distribute $96 million in those relief dollars to renters who qualify. And the man who broke out of an area county jail over the weekend back behind bars tonight. Hi, I'm Alan Holt. We've got milder weather ahead of us tomorrow and Thursday. Big cold front Friday morning is going to bring in a lot cooler weather for the weekend. Maybe some rain too. We'll have the update. Excitement is an understatement for Texas A&M Islanders fans tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for allowing us into your homes. I'm Rudy Trevino. And I'm Leslie Adamy. Well, school history made tonight. The Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders men's basketball team have danced their way to their first NCAA tournament win after coming out of a top, coming out on top of a thrilling 75 to 71 win against Southeast Missouri State. Uh, Sports director Chris Thomas has been traveling with the team and brings us a recap cap of the exciting win from Dayton, Ohio. Hey there, Coastal Men. The Islanders have won their first ever game in the NCAA tournament, 75-71 over Southeast Missouri State in the first four. What a game it was. Now, a &M CC only trailed for about 30 seconds in this game, but the Red Hawks certainly made it interesting, tying it several times in the second half. The Southland Tournament MVP, Jalen Jackson, leading the way with 22 points afterwards. And excited, Steve Lutz talking about the biggest win in program history. Um, I thought it was a, a great opening game for the NCAA tournament. I mean, you know, you had a, a, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. You had, um, you know, two teams that played extremely, extremely hard and uh, gave it everything they had. Um, at the end of the day, we made a few more free throws. We got a couple more rebounds. And obviously, we were able to come out, um, you know, on the, on the victorious side. So uh, I couldn't be more excited for these guys, and I couldn't be more excited for our basketball program. Basketball is a game of runs, so we knew at some point they were going to make a run. We just had to stay together. Um, we rebounded, uh, we made free throws, and yeah, we, we, we stuck together to finish the game up. Now it's a quick turnaround for the Islanders as they head to Birmingham right after the game. They will take on the number one overall seed, Alabama, Thursday in the round of 64. Reporting from Dayton, Chris Thomason, 3 News. Exciting stuff and fans here at home turned out in big numbers to support the Islanders at a watch party tonight on the city south side over at Brewster Street Ice House. And you can bet all eyes were glued to the TV screens. Our Bill Churchwell was there for us and has reaction to tonight's big win. Well, you can tell by the excitement here tonight, Islander fans have plenty to celebrate as the men's basketball team advances, clinching tonight's victory in what turned out to be a nail-biter of a game. It's the moment school history was made for the Islander men's basketball team and when many fans lost their voice. Exploding with cheers as the hometown team marked their first win in an NCAA tournament. To see all the community come out to support our Islanders. We are so proud of our men and women basketball team. Throughout the watch party here at Brewster Street Ice House on the south side, shakas were up in the sea of blue and green as Islander alum and students alike joined together to show their support many on the edge of their seats it's where one word kept coming up and that's pride congratulations islanders you made corpus christi very proud here we're proud of our guys getting us on the national stage we're playing alabama on thursday islander community excited nervous all the feels the crowd now celebrating the win and chanting we won Bama. Feels amazing, man. The Islanders just won our first game in school history. We want Bama, baby. Let's go. Bill Church 12, 3 News.